welcome back to the channel and if you're looking at rebuilding your grill then you're at the right place so if you see this content helpful go ahead and give a thumbs up and subscribe that way you can see other videos in the future of do it yourself and repairing or instead of replacing something to save money you're at the right place if you have a grill similar as mine and I'm going to show you how to restore it if the structure is sound and we will help you to restore it in such a way to save you money so you don't have to spend hundreds or even a thousands on a brand new grill. So let's get started. So what we're going to do is I'll show you what we're working with here. These, these grates out of here, there's nothing wrong with these grates. They are fine. Look in here, look what happened to the inside. You can see that it all rusted out. And you can see in here where these little channels was in here and it all rusted out. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the description below where I got the different distribution tubes. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this all off and pop rivet the new lining inside this grill. So the only things you really need for this, for do this restoration is a pair of tin snips, some pop rivets, they're eighth inch in diameter, and there's a, and an eighth inch drill bit, and some old flashing that, that I had laying around. A friend of mine, he gave this to us. And we'll just show you how easy this is to fix. Now we're gonna go ahead and get a putty knife here and try to clean out all this old grease and rust and debris that's been laying around here. Now we have everything all cleaned out. Got it nice and clean, free of rust, at least as much as we can get. So now we took that piece of sheeting that was that we tested out inside to make sure it's the right size. So we just clamped it down here onto our railing of our deck in the back. And then we're gonna kinda kinda put pressure down on it to bend it. This is about the best way to do it without using a brake like a, f a fancy place would. And then you could take a hammer and kinda define the bend. Now we went ahead and folded it over and gonna use the clamp. Clamp it down, move the clamp over a little bit, squeeze down real tight, move it over. Get See how it gives that refined bend and that'll help strengthen this thin sheeting. Okay, now we're about ready to put on the backing. And what you wanna use is a pop rivet that's, it don't matter what size, but it just so happens I have eighth inch ones here. So you want a drill bit just a trifle bit bigger so it can make a hole for this to go in. So let's get in here and get to drill this. One hole, not right here. Now that we got the first hole drilled there, just grab a, one of these pop rivets. I'm sure there's a video out there for you guys that have never used one of these before. Basically stick that in there. How this works is that this rod will pull out and this will swell up in the hole. So that's how they work. So let's get this in here. We'll stick it in this hole like this. Stick it in that hole. Make sure it's back up against, and you pull and squeeze or squeeze, squeeze again until it breaks off. And look how nice and tight that is. So now what we'll do is we'll put a series of holes down across here, and so now we need to make up a a landing surface so this could fall on. So I took one. Lay it on this piece of uh, aluminum sheeting and then I'm going to trim it and I'm going to go ahead and make four of these. So 
so what we'll do is we'll bend this edge over just a little edge like an eighth inch lip and we'll wrap that around to strengthen the sheeting. Kind of see that that gives it more strength see this piece here is real real flimsy but over here with double in the thickness that'll strengthen that now what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and and bend this over like this and let's take this over to the grill and see how it looks Okay, now we have that backing in, but we got these four little things that we made, and we'll pop rivet those right here, 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 and here, and we'll just go ahead and measure down one and three quarter inch to make it the same as it was before. So let's go ahead and drill and put those in next. Okay, go ahead and put that in there, sunny boy. Push it in real tight. There you go. Yep, it don't have to be perfect because you can move it. And go ahead and squeeze it. There you go. It's in place. Now go ahead and grab yourself another hop rivet. Make sure it's back against. Times that should be the trick. Again. Goes. Great job. We got a nice little landing in there, which will hold this this piece. Look how great that job that is. Now we're gonna go ahead and put one here, one here, and one here. And the last one goes in. Okay, there we go, we got them all in. Now that we got them all in, if we had to do it over, how would we have done it? We would have just done worn the whole way across instead of doing separate ones. Yeah. And it'd probably been more sturdy and more solid, but we some, from mistakes. Yep, sometimes you learn as you go. Okay, we got both landings in here. This is for the the new cones that go over top and then this one here which we like we explained earlier we should have just made this one one continuous piece so it's stronger see how sturdy that is and then now we ordered the new burners we're going to put those in and this one here is a brinkman so all you got to do is go on ebay or what i did is went on amazon and you can find one that has the right length and we also have a video that we just recently produced to show you how to change out the element like this one here so go ahead and click on the link above or to take you directly to that video now lastly we do some finishing touches to the grill here and cut a strip cut back like this and then bend this up on each side okay we cut and and bent these tabs up. That just kind of helps guide that right in there. So now what do we do? Are we going to try this thing out? See if it's going to work the way it's supposed to? Yep. Let's try it out. Okay, we'll turn this thing on. Okay, we'll open up the valve. Don't matter. So let's turn all the burners on. And go ahead and light it. See if it works. Levi, you got her all fired up, right? Yep. We're going to try out this grill. Man, you can feel the heat coming off there, can't you? The heat is so nice and even now. Unlike before. Well, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. 